On this video, I'm going to show you how I rode 12,000 kilometers in one year in year 2020. Stick around. But before we start the video, I'd like to tell you something about my channel, the channel membership. If you're an Android user or on your laptop, you can see the join button beside the subscribe button. If you join my channel membership, you can have special emoji stickers to use in your comments and badge around your name. So just do it, join my membership. So on with the video, let's go. At the beginning of year 2020, I received a GPS cycling device called the Brighton Rider 420. I have used this GPS cycling device to record my bike rides, be it training rides, commute rides, or just anywhere that I have my road bike with me. I use the Strava application to synchronize my ride every time I finish my ride. And at the end of the year, Strava sends a small snippets of all your rides, all the data that accumulated in one year. So it says unexpected year. Of course, every cyclist in the world did not expect what's gonna happen in the year 2020. But we in Taiwan are a very fortunate country to have controlled the spread of the pandemic. And with no lockdown being imposed in the island, I was still able to ride 189 active days. Part of the lockdown rules were there was no massive gathering allowed. So at the month of January until July, a lot of cycling races and cycling events were cancelled. Strava also shows that my top sport is cycling. I can't run. I have an injury. I have a torn ACL. I don't know why do I have to say that. I don't feel like you have to know that one. Strava also showed that I have ridden 472 hours saddle time. In January and February, I dedicated mostly all my times on riding base miles, just riding without any plan. By March and April, I was riding a bit less in saddle time because I was doing specific training which includes time intervals on uphill climbs and a lot of VO2 max efforts. I train on weekly basis. On Monday is my rest day. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I would go out and ride one hour to 90 minutes. And on Friday is another rest day because on the Saturdays and Sundays, I would go out and ride longer. Strava have detected that my most active time of the day is 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. because Monday to Friday I have a work at 8.30 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. I don't have work on Saturday and Sunday and those are the only times that I can go out for a 4 to 6 hour ride and really get the most efficient training gain. By May, June, July I had to do a weekly ride of 8 to 10 hour rides. I was doing all this training for just one goal of the season, the Taiwan KOM. By August and September, three months before the KOM event, I bumped my ride from 10 hours to 12 hours per week. I did a three-month block of training because last year, 2019 KOM, my experience was different. Not enough time and specific efforts on the bike. Strava also calculated that I have only ridden 11,600 because they sent this email two weeks before the end of 2020. There's two weeks to ride more and I still have time to ride. October 23 was the Taiwan KOM. So October was the most crucial moment that I had to train. The first two weeks, I rode around 15 to 18 hours per week with rides ranging from six to eight hours ride. My longest activity of the year is the week before the Taiwan KOM at a 207 kilometers. If you are interested in the blog of this ride, you can check the link up there. But if you are wondering why am I talking about ride times and not the distance, well, here it is why. Because all through the year, my total average speed is 24 kilometers per hour. And all through the year, I have climbed 162,000 meters elevation gain. You can go check out my Strava, which is Anthony Homer Ulsa. The longest ride of the year, which is 207 kilometers, is also my heliest activity which is 3,864 meters elevation gain. This happened in the last week before the Taiwan KOM. So my formula to ride longer is ride faster. It's very simple arithmetic. If you ride faster, you cover more distance. Be it the climb or be it the flat. Ride faster. Harden the up. That is why training and preparing for an event that you really really wanted to get a result is very important 
I really really rode very hard and did my efforts because I was really determined to break my 5 hour time on the 2019 KOM. So this year I did 4 hours 34 minutes. And that activity received 215 kudos. The Taiwan KOM. If you're watching this you have known by now that Strava is like the Facebook of athletes. It's like Instagram. You can post photos. So Strava also picked up my most liked photos. If you are interested in the Taiwan KOM challenge, I have a whole playlist of the blog dedicated to it. Click on the link up there if you want to watch the whole playlist. A massive shout out to my three members, Jeran Talosi, Japong01, and Doyin Oleyaran. If you are in no position to become a member of the channel, just by hitting that like button and subscribe button gives me a big support. And don't forget to share this video to your friends so they can also ride 12,000 kilometers in one year. Okay, that's the end of the video. Goodbye, see you in the next one. Peace! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! <laughs> Shut the light! Yep, we got the uh, wild descending. I see this, so I had to stop. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous, right?